guys, we're back with another video today and today I'm doing my top 10 brands that I've tried so far and I've tried a little over 10 so it'd be a good guess what is my number one I've recorded this before and I wasn't even in focus but I've done a brand since that video and it's hopped like my nearly number one very close so let's get started so my number 10 is Miss Bolton I find their stuff very basic I find it for lighter lighter skin people I barely got away with that foundation that they had their shades are pretty pretty crap their products I personally just don't think they're that good the concealer is average the powder I feel like a tiny tiny bit it makes you cakey they have this so clear range well unless you've used it let me know but I just don't think it will clear up your blemishes mascara did not like it the eyeshadow is highlighter I don't want to talk too long about these brands but mm, it's a no-no for me so coming on at number nine is technique I did not like anything really apart from their highlighter and I don't even like liquid highlighters the only thing I loved from that brand was their brow gel I think it's one of the best brow gels out there that I've tried so far <laughs> wait there ain't been a lot because I'm a brow pencil kind of person I'm not really a pomade gel type person or powder the technique is basic the foundation is horrible the 2-in-1 powder mm -mm. the concealer is quite sheer you have to do it a couple of times to get coverage so I would miss out on that brand but try the brow gel for their phone you'll be amazed so coming up number 8 is Lottie London Lottie London I feel is not a herd brand it's quite underrated. I didn't really know about it until I went to Madison Beer's show and she was sponsored by Lottie London and they gave you, when you left, they gave you like a, like a free highlighter. And I tried it and I liked it so I wanted to venture out on the other products and they're good. Like for every day I use their stippling brush. I bought their buffing brush but I ain't used it yet. I'm not a fan of this because you hear that? It's starting to break on me like half of my brushes you see this I haven't even had it a year I've had it like the start of the year and I love it though I've been buffing and slippy brushes the only brush you should ever use for foundation bronzer is amazing the tan tan bronzer amazing you should definitely try it it's so dark it's perfect for me because I like really dark contours the mascara is mediocre not you don't need it the eyeliner it's okay I've had better I'm still iffy about the foundation I don't know how I feel about it it matches perfectly but it's thick maybe because I need to get used to it but yeah Low London is it's pretty good it's better than you think it is but some products are just not worth it it's sad for me to say this is number seven because I love their body care I am obsessed with their body kit. Every day I'm using their body gel, their body lotion. I I have like backups. <laughs> I have like three, four. Like I love this brand. So when I wanted to try the makeup, I was disappointed. So I heard the makeup was just as good as their body care stuff. Apart from the fact that they have literally five, 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 five foundation shades. What is that about? Might as well just have three, like medium and dark. The foundation is so, so rubbish. The reason, it didn't match my skin. I've never ever had this before, but I had dry patches. Like, if you look close to your skin, you will see dry patches all over. Fenty Beauty Foundation did that, which is why I don't like that foundation, but it did it like half of that. I could actually go out, I wouldn't have a problem that much. I could wear Fenty, but some of the glory was just so bad. It was just patchy everywhere. Not a fan. The plumping lip, mm -mm. it burns. I've tried the lipstick. It's lipstick, it comes off. Until they get a liquid lipstick, we'll see. The bronzer, did not like, oh my God, I did not like that. It made me look ready. Cause it was the Wonder Bricks. Like, Super Glue is a type of brand that, a bronzer is a bronzer, you can't contour with it. Yeah, not a fan. The highlighter, it was so light. It's more like pout on the powdery chalky, it's not like a gleam. 
it doesn't stay on day so it wears off the eyeliner is pretty good the eyeliner and the brow products are so hot up even compared to Anastasia I just didn't like it I was really disappointed with that one so let's move on to the next one number six and that is primer I'm obsessed with that palette the nine vintage eyeshadow palette it's so good it's so full I'm so shook since full comes with that out it's <laughs> you serve some looks the foundation is it's okay it's good for the like, every day going to school don't care but I like really full coverage foundation it looks a tiny bit light on me and it's in warm beige the next one down is I think is rich beige and that's too dark I wasn't a fan of their bronzer highlighter duo as you saw but I did like the highlighter part the brow pen did not like the mascara is okay makes them there but there's better like Maybelline there's better mascaras overall primer is good I think the eye the eye area is better than the rest of the face and the lip product is okay it lasts all day and it wears naturally like the inner it, it fades slowly so if anything I'd recommend the eyes and the lips but apart from that we're not a fan of Primark Sleek is good I still think it's underrated Sleek have recently become popular because they've started catering to the deeper darker people I think that's where most of their business now like before it was like for the lighter skin people but now it's for the darker skin people I think Sleek was smart because they realised darker people are not getting their shades in foundation they hopped in the bandwagon and catered for that I have used their CC cream it's so full coverage I love it only thing downside is I don't like the bottle well I finished one colour but I did have every single shade and it comes in fair, light, medium and dark the thing about Sleek is their colours are way way off it perfectly fitted me with light light I'm not light this is medium can you see how dark that square is? this mm -mm. I am medium this this colour is not medium but this is SPF it's got quite a lot SPF 29 UVA and UVB I have everything obviously the foundation is great their powder again their colours are way off they've got light chocolate and dark I think and their light was, well you saw my sleep video, it was too dark for me. So they need to work on their shades. Their mascara is mediocre, you don't need it. The eyeliner, I haven't tried the eyeliner. Because I have the pencils, I don't, I'm not sure about the gel. I don't know if they do liquid or pen. The eyeshadows are brilliant, can I just say. Like I'd recommend the foundation and the eyeshadow. They're really buttery, they are so so buttery. You like the shimmers, they are amazing, they stay on all day. Like I have no faults with them. Um their shimmers are a bit better than their mattes. Their mattes are a bit more on the chalky side and I feel like they don't really blend that well for me. Everything else was a no, didn't like the lipstick, the oh yeah, the bronze and highlight is amazing, it is dark. The face products are more better, the foundation, the contour highlighters. Ha, oh, that sounds funny. Number four was number seven. Shame 7 was in at 7. Okay, that would be funny. I'm shook about number 7. Their foundation is so amazing. I am still testing it out to compare it to my MAC because personally I feel it's, it's very close. It may even be a dupe. It looks the same, it feels the same. Their shades fit you perfectly. One's like £15. It's still a bit pricey, but it's way more affordable than spending like 23 and MAC goes up to even like £27 with their foundation like I was shook about everything, the mascara it made them defined it, they, it wasn't really long but it made them really defined and just like really made your eyes look pretty their brow I was shook by that, not a fan just because it's a kit and I like pencils but it looked amazing better than other ones I've tried their lipstick was so so nice so creamy not gonna lie it didn't really last long eating and drinking but that's what you get when you wear normal lipsticks I love their contour their highlighter even though it was liquid with a brush The eyeliner was amazing their liquid eyeliner is way better than the felt liner The eyeshadow is very glittery <laughs> I haven't tried it yet using a matte for glitter but in the video I did all glitter and it looked good just everything was on point so I would suggest anyone and everyone to get number 7 I was a bit mm, like no at first when I used to look at number seven because I thought it was for like mature people I want to show this now I've also tried 
the Protect and Perfect Intensive Buds. I am so shook. I thought it was a moisturiser when I first tried it and then I read it because I felt my face. I thought that doesn't feel like a moisturiser. It's a serum. This makes your face so silky. Number seven is amazing. Try it. You should try it. Try it. Top three left. Number three is Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution is like popping right now. It is doing so well, it's bringing out so many products. I wasn't feeling it at the start, but I kind of am now. The eyeshadows are pretty good. Sad to say this, but it's better than MUA eyeshadows. They're more pigmented. Not loving Makeup Revolution, because I feel like they stole off MUA. Because I'm going to show you two products. Bronzer. This is the Makeup Revolution, this is the MUA. They look exactly the same. The back looks exactly the same. One of these brands copied off on each other. I want to know who. I feel like Makeup Revolution copied off anyway, but I don't know which one came out first. And the ingredients are exactly the same. But let me read you Makeup Revolutions. So first you got Milka, then you got Talc, then you got Magnesium Sterate. Don't know how to say half of these. Then you have Hafeum, Liquidine, Kaolin, Ethyl Hexyl. And then a couple other ones, you've got silica, dimethylcone, dilparaben. No, I said the first one was Milka and Talc. Now let's read this one. Talc, Mika, Petrolum, Paraffin, Liquidum. Sand, similar. Then you've got Talcoferol, Polobutin, Methylparaben, Polo... Pro Probol paraben. These have exactly the same ingredients, but yet I'm expected to not believe these ones. So I'm copying someone. These are both 15 grams, both 12 months, both designed and developed in the UK. Look, both exactly the same. How many brands do you know look exactly the same? These were like parent companies like Estee Lauder, Weaven, L'Oreal. Then I might understand why these look exactly the same because it's kind of the same company but these I'm pretty sure are completely different so why do they look exactly the same let's just leave that there I'd like to hear your opinions on that because it's not just their bronzers a couple of their other products like their highlighters look exactly the same but I just got their highlighters just to give you a little view what looks the same is their prints it's like someone's gone to one factory and copied the exact print of their products this is, you know, when I see that. This is Makeup Revolutions. They have like dents, they have like swirls imprinted in their highlight. Can you see that? Oh, you can see that from MUA. Now look at that. What does MUA have? MUA has swirls imprinted in their highlighter. I ain't trying to stir no tea, but something's going fishy with that. Which brings me on to number two. Number two, which I've just done, if you couldn't tell, is Maybelline. I'm also surprised. I wasn't that surprised because I know they were big and they are very good. It's just that I've personally never tried a Maybelline product ever. For this, doing this whole like one brand video, whereas the other brands I've tried. The foundation, I didn't think it would match me. It looks flawless. I'm not a fan of this lip situation going on. Even though they're velvet, bright lip, what's it called? Their vivid matte liquid lip is very hyped. I see it everywhere. Brands say they love it. But I'm just not a fan of it. This I just this personally better liquid lips out there. Don't like the brows, I'm a fan of the bronzer highlighter. I'm kind of digging it when I look at myself in the camera, but in real life, the bronzer doesn't even look like it's there. I'm gonna work on that eyeliner. That mascara is my like it's my favourite and I love the concealer but I don't love how much product it wastes. I love Maybelline. I'm not gonna say it like that but I tried it once. I need to give myself like a month's use out of it before I say it. I love it but out of the one brand videos I've been doing at the end it was one of the best. Let's move on to number one drum roll I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to find the comments who you think is number one and also I want you to write one to ten which brand you thought I was gonna say. Five, four, three, 
two, one. I'm going to say my number one. I, I cannot, I just can't. Like, it's me. It's MUA. Because of MUA, it's got so much hype. And they've like realized how much people love their products. They have raised their prices so slightly because they're still cheap. Like, the eyebrow pencil you can get for a pound, the bronzer. Well, this one is like three pounds, but the square one they do is a pound. Like this, on certain irons, I do believe slightly they are the prices. I don't have thoughts for anything. I love the matte foundation, not a fan of the hydro, even though I thought it would have been better for me because of my skin type. I would recommend the foundation. For three, I think it's about three pounds, three, four pounds. It is amazing. It's matte, it gives you quite a good coverage. It lasts all day. Concealer. The cover and conceal wand is amazing. Bronzer, the brow is my favourite brow product of all time. The eyeliners, the eye define and the gold precision one. The precision one is so black. It's the blackest I've ever found. It's cheap. It lasts a day, gives you that perfect wing. But please do not mess up. Because <laughs> like I said, it's black and it would just be a disaster. The highlighters are amazing. I've got the pink shimmer. I've got all three of the liquid undressed your glow. I think everything is amazing. The lip products, they're good, but they're not the best. I would still say out of all the brands I've tried, Colourpop is my number one lip. Literally one, two swipes, and it's opaque. It dries instantly. It's really wet. I hate, I've come to realize I don't like liquid lips that are dry when they go on. I just found a revelation. I just did my Maybelline one look brand if you couldn't already tell and I just did this to my lips and they're not matte they're not dry they're not matte it's still shiny here why is it called vivid matte liquid when it's not matte oh my god I tried to do a kiss test and it just came off in my hand not a fan of this liquid lipstick I will say don't know why it's hyped up but I do not like it anyways going back to MUA it's quite sheer the liquid lips you do have to do it a few times but when you do it stays on and it's an a star so yeah that brings me up to the end of the video all the brands i've tried maybe i'll do an update one with all the other brands that i'm going to do in the future like i might do nars and mac then type of high end mid-end brands along with l'oreal borgias rimmel rimmel and gosh Barry M, there's another one I know I'm missing, yes, Max Factor, I've still got so many brands to try, anyways, I'm gonna stop rabbiting on because the video is long enough, hope you guys like the video, comment down your thoughts and opinions below, and yeah, until then I'll see you guys later.